What is going on everybody and welcome to episode 9 of our Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke Challenge. In this episode we're going to be taking on the rest of the Kimono Girls and um, uh, taking on Morty for the Gym Leader Battle. Uh, like I said in our last episode and just like this one I accidentally recorded this in slow-mo. So when I did this live I had no gameplay. Um, or I had no audio, I had no face cam, so. Trying to find Pokemon here, or trying to find the a TM to attach to Slowpoke to send it over to Blue, because in the last episode with Bill, we got the Time Capsule Machine, and with the Time Capsule, um, we basically were able to uh, not, or to send Pokemon back in time as long as they didn't have a Gen 2 move. So, that's what we did with uh, Bellsprout. Uh, and we got her up to level 20. And now I'm trying to find the Kimono Girls again. And I'm actually sipping on a sweet tea right now. Going this back to back, just like how I record. And once again, taking on the Kimono Girls. We took on the first three in the last episode. And, um, yeah, it's just going to be one of those things where we go time by time. And I think at this point I started the recording. But again, um, just a mistake happened on my end of things. Um, and I hit the record in two times, or slow-mo, and I didn't recognize it. So, uh, that's on me. Let's go ahead and do a quick team recap here uh, for episode 9. Starting with Scabbers, the Rattata at level 18. She has Hyper Fang, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, and Swift. Um, Geodude, or Basilisk, the Geodude at level 19. Really big in, against Whitney, was able to take out that Mill Tank. Has Magnitude, Defensive Curl, uh, Mud Slap, and... Rock Throw, now Muscle, the Machop with Low Kick, Seismic Toss that she learned last episode. Focus Energy and Karate Chop. Uh, level 19 again. We traded her for Ben's the Drowsy that we caught in Episode 7. And uh, up next is Harry the Koalawa at level 18. He has Ember, Leer, Smokescreen, and Tackle. At this point, I'm wondering when we get... Quick Attack, like Hedwig here, has at Tackle Sand Attack, Gust, and Quick Attack at level 18. And finally, the level 20 Sp Oddish, Sprout the Oddish, with Absorb, Cut, Sleep Powder, and Poison Powder. We taught it Sleep Powder to transfer over to Blue. Uh, so for the Pokemon that are getting left behind in our grinding sessions, um, well, as long as they're Gen 1 Pokemon, and do not have a Gen 2 move. We're able to move them over to Blue. Where we have the uh, Rare Candy hack uh, enabled. And uh, we just level them up and then send them right back over to Silver. Uh, so if you ever see a jump in levels from uh, one episode to another. And I don't mention grinding. That's what happens. Just for future reference here. So, let's go ahead and take on the fourth Kimono Girl here. We only got two left. And the reason why we're doing Kimono Girls before Morty is because with Kimono Girls, we get the HM Surf, which is really big, especially with Slowpoke, because, again, we need... Um, I learned that Curse is a Gen 2 move, which I thought... Or, uh... Not Curse, uh... Something was a Gen 2 move, so we weren't able to send them over. Uh, so let's go ahead and use Absorb. On We're three levels above. And Absorb still doesn't do anything. Okay. Uh, I mean, we're going to get hit points back. But this just got even longer. Let's go ahead and use Absorb. I mean, our defense is frail right now. 
another super effective attack. It uses tackle. Level or 44 hit points. Let's go ahead and use absorb. Super effective. And one last absorb should do it. Are we able to get through the accuracy drop? We are. And down goes the Vaporeon. So, <laughs> even though, uh, even though we were three levels above, we still don't have anything more than uh, Azorb there. So let's go ahead and take on the fifth and final Kimono Girl. Again, they only have one Pokemon each, and this is Jolteon, which we all know is a speedy boy. Um, so let's go ahead and click Hyper Fang. We're only one level above. I did it last episode. It's a crit! Um, and, again, speed has something to do with it. We can't be missing Hyper Fangs here. Please, Scabbers! Ugh! Oh, tackle. We use Quick Attack and gets us close. It uses Tackle and now we're in yellow. Quick Attack should do it and does. Down goes the Jolteon. Scavers grows all that experience and grows to level 19. But unfortunately, I uh, can't send Scavers over because of Swift. Um, just one of those things. And now I'm wondering where we pick up the Surf HM. Um, and I just start talking to people. Oh, he says the guy next to him wants to have his ride on learn surf. So, we go ahead talk to this guy, and we pick up HM4, HM03, which is surf. Unfortunately, we need, uh, the Ecritique badge for surf. So... Let's just see right now if any of our old Pokemon can learn Surf and not have to get uh, Hagrid out. Nope, everybody cannot learn Surf. So Hagrid is going to be our Surfing Pokemon, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, like I said, when we picked up Slowpoke, I was really excited for it. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm debating on whether or not I should just jump into the gym or pick up Hagrid and train up so it gets water guns so then we can teach Surf to get rid of uh, the uh, move that it needs to get rid of to get over to Pokemon Blue. So in order to do that we are going to deposit Muscle the Machop into our storage and we're actually going to deposit sprout as well um because i think we can send a couple pokemon over uh can't send we might be able to send uh oh there's the Slowpoke. Hagrid the Slowpoke. uh we're going to keep for right now we're probably going to go to the uh daycare people and pick up our pokemon there as well actually let's go ahead and once again, I'm thinking here whether or not I want to realize that we don't have anybody healed up and Scabbers is hurting. So we move Hagrid in front and run into a wild Stantler. And at this point, I realize that even our Machop isn't here. So, oh yeah, it's Curse. Yeah. So that's why we can't send him over to blue is because Curse was not a move in Generation 1, so we send out Basilisk, tries to go, tries to hit Hypnosis, we go with Rock Throw instead, and even though it's not very effective, let's see. Let's try Magnitude. Not very effective. Magnitude 7, does this kill? It almost does. Magnitude, this is going to be for uh, extra killness. And down goes Stantler. Hagrid grows 175. And Basilisk now is at level 20. 
Now I've realized I should just uh, go ahead and try the gym trainer and just scout. That's all we're going to do right now is we're going to scout starting with this first gym leader trainer and let's see how many Pokemon he has. He has five Pokemon. Sent out Ghastly. Level 16, so Hagrid is uh, three levels under. We're going to send out Basilisk as our best option at the moment. And it uses Lick. We'll use Magnitude. Well, it uses another Lick. Is it going to get the Paralysis? Nope. Magnitude 7. Does this kill Ghastly? We're four levels above, and it does. It's super effective. So, it is at this point I realize, holy crap, we can actually take on the gym leader. Because uh, Ghost Poison Pokemon, we can use uh, Magnitude on. So, we send out... Uh, we're just going to switch train here instead of going down to the daycare to get people. Uh, so, once again, they send out Ghastly. We switch into Basilisk. It's, they're going to get a lick up. And... No, no paralysis. It uses spike. Doesn't affect us because you haven't used a move yet. Magnitude 6. This should kill, correct? It does. And down goes Ghastly number 2. Pick up 160 experience points there. And Ghastly change Pokemon. Nope. Gonna move into Hagrid here. And Basilisk, that's enough. We're gonna switch into Hagrid. And I click, I click curse, and it gets a paralysis. No, it's paralyzed, can't move, uses curse. Ah, uh, speed fell, attack and defense went up. I definitely clicked the wrong button there. Um, so now I switch into Basilisk. It's gonna get lick up. And now I click Magnitude, it's going to get another lick. Magnitude 6, and as we know from the last one, this is going to kill. And down goes the Ghastly. Hagrid goes at 116, and now he's at level 14. We get 160 experience points with Basilisk. Going to send out another Ghastly here. And... We're going to switch train and go into Hagrid. And right back into Basilisk. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is going to be one of those grindy episodes, unfortunately. But we also get a gym leader trainer and we're paralyzed. At least we get to battle the gym leader after this. Or after we go through this puzzle. So magnitude 8, that is overkill, and down goes the Ghastly. Hagrid and Basilisk get 160 experience points each, and gonna send out one more Ghastly. Uh, we are gonna switch into Hagrid one last time for this first battle. And go Hagrid. Switch into the paralyzed uh, Geodude. They use Lick. That does three. Magnitude, Spite. Again, we haven't used a move yet, so Spite does nothing. Magnitude seven. We know this is going to kill because Magnitude sixes were killing. And down goes the Ghastly. So again, split the experience points between the two of us. And Sage Ping was defeated. So let's go ahead and heal up, cure the paralysis, and get some... Uh, uh, Paralyze heals from the mark. So let's go ahead and talk to this near destroy here. And again, at this point, especially after that first uh, gym trainer, we know we can take on Morty. And that's going to be the important thing is knowing that we can take on Morty. Uh, now we just take out the experience points. Or get the paralysis heal, paralyze heals, and we get ten of those. 
And we'll use Awakening Suit just in case he has Hypnosis. Uh, and... Now we can... Process Heals. And so I did get... I was wondering when I was doing this live if I gave him a Paralyzed Berry or a Paralyzed Heal. Obviously I gave him a Paralyzed Heal. Heal, not a paralyzed berry and I say that because um, it's gonna come up here very shortly um, that I clicked the wrong thing and now I think we're gonna be taking on this <laughs> this uh, puzzle but we go through it we go ahead and take on the second gym leader trainer so after her, we got two more trainers before we got to take on Morty. She has two Pokemon. A Haunter ha, 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 at level 20. Hagrid still at level 14, so we're going to switch into Basilisk here. And Haunter uses Lick. And gets the Paralyze. And... I use Magnitude. Magnitude 8. Does this kill the level 20 Haunter? It does indeed. And I'm wondering, at this point, I'm wondering why the Paralyzed Barely did not pop. But Hagrid grows level 15 and learns Water Gun for the first time. Thank you, Lord. And Basilisk grows to level 21 and is trying to learn Self Destruct. Uh, no. Basilisk is not gonna go boom. Uh, no, thank you. Yes, you should stop trying to learn that, but uh, so is now going to send out Haunter and we're going to switch into uh, Hagrid and switch back into Basilisk. Excuse me. Uh, Haunter uses Lick does five damage and another lick for another five damage and we get fully paralyzed actually it's right around here I'm wondering why the berry didn't pop magnitude seven we knew eight kill does seven kill it does indeed down goes the haunter and basilisk and uh, and uh, Hagrid split the experience points so let's go ahead and heal up with the paralyzed heal on basilisk and it and if i was smart i would have healed him up uh hp wise too but obviously you see i do not do that uh i was big dumb going into this gym leader trainer battle um because I think he's already healed up. I think that I did both. Or that he's fully recovered from uh, the paralysis. Sends out Haunter. At level 22, we have Hagrid out. And we switch into uh, Basilisk. And this is where I learned that Haunter learns Nightshade at level 22. And now we're in trouble because I didn't heal up. So, trying to figure out what Pokemon can head out here to take a couple of hits while I heal up Basilisk. Again, I try not to use healing items during uh, battles. But, um, I do hear they do get two. <laughs> and we get Ember. And the berry pops, but it's not going to save us. Um, so I go ahead and I go into Hedwig. And this is where I remember that they only have ghost type attacks. Hedwig's part normal. So that doesn't affect anybody. And we can go ahead and use uh, a super potion. No, we're going to use the fresh water on Basilisk. And heal it up to 51. Um, 
it uses curse on itself, cuts its own HP, puts a curse on Hedwig. Which is fine by me, it can do that. Then we'll switch into um, Basilisk and it uses Curse again to cut into HP and it killed itself. So we just healed and we stalled for no reason in my opinion at this time. Harry grows to level 19 by the way. And so, um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use a potion on Harry. Get him close to healed up fully. And yeah, use another one. So now he's fully healed up. And... Once again, I... I said during the live recording of this that we're going to spend the rest of our time in this puzzle. Um... Obviously, I didn't mean it literally at the time because I didn't realize that all I needed to do was go over to one block before the trainer and then head up. Bear with me. I haven't played silver or heart gold soul silver in forever at this point at this time. So we go ahead, take on Ghastly, level 18, and... We got three Pokemon to deal with. Uses Lick. And... Yeah. Or Basilisk gets Paralyzed. Which is funny, because Paralyzed is like, uh, the, uh... Uh... Petrification. It uses Curse on us. And... We obviously load Roll on the Magnitude. Magnitude 6, that's gonna kill the Ghastly. Basilisk gains the experience points. We're gonna send in another Ghastly. Will we switch? Of course we are. Even though we're at level 15 with, uh... With, uh... Hagrid here. We want to get him on par with everybody else. So, in order to do that, we gotta... We gotta switch train. Unfortunately, right now. Um... Gets... Does three points of damage, uses curse on itself, cuts its HP, puts a curse on us. We use magnitude, magnitude 10. That is definitely overkill, but down goes the ghastly. Um, Hager gains experience and is now at level 16. Basilisk gains experience and is getting closer to level 22. Uh, will we switch? Yep. We're going to switch into this. Uh, Pokemon here, and Hagrid, or oh, we're going to switch into Basilisk, and see what this Haunter does, uses Lick, and again, since we're already paralyzed, I'm not too worried about it, uh, does get another Lick off, and now we're at level, or now we're at 20, magnitude 8, we already know from past experiences with Haunters that this does kill, and it does, Super effective, down goes the second Haunter. And Basilisk Net is now at level 22, which we are still under the level cap of 25 going into the going into the Morty um, battle. Let's go ahead and heal up one last time through the Pokemon Center. Not because I need to, but I do want the PPs available to me. Um... If I can actually get in here. Uh, the PP actually available to me uh, for magnitude in case I need it. So, let's heal up our five Pokemon. And uh, we are going to take on Morty for our fourth gem badge. Which means tomorrow you will be seeing a gem leader castle episode uh, taking on Morty as well. So let's go ahead and do this puzzle, which is overly simplified. And up, and now talk to Morty. And again, going for our fourth gym badge here. Five episodes, or five videos this week. Wow, that is quite a lot. So go ahead and hit 
uh, the subscribe button for me if you've made it through this far in the video as we get ready to take on Morty and he sends out Ghastly at first so we go ahead and go into Hagrid and then we're going to switch into Basilisk and Ghastly uses Curse on itself, cuts HP we're going to go ahead and use, well it does get the lick up and we're paralyzed Of course we are. Magnitude 4, does this kill with curse? Does not, that's unlucky. And we see the curse does a whole lot more than the lick does. Uh, yeah, so now we're at 34 HP. That is just overkill. But at any rate, down goes the first Ghastly. And Hagrid gains experience points, Basilisk gains experience points. Still have three Pokemon to battle. Uh, going against his first Haunter. I think he has Ghastly, Haunter, Haunter, Gengar. Um, so going to go ahead and switch into Basilisk here. And uses Hypnosis, doesn't affect Basilisk. Uses Curse on itself. Cuts its own HP, Magnitude. Magnitude 8, this definitely kills the Haunter. Um, as we know, because we've been battling Haunters before, and Hagrid is now at level 17. Basilisk gains a good amount of experience. Uh, going to send out a second Haunter, so let's go ahead and switch back into Basilisk. Or let oh, Hagrid, I'm sorry, not Basilisk. Now let's switch into Basilisk. Level 23 Haunter, what does it go with? Nightshade. Okay, um, we're in a little bit of trouble because we're paralyzed and uh, we can't take that twice. So let's go ahead and use a super potion. Again, I try to avoid super, or using potions in battles, but I think that this is, I, I mean, I'm gonna use a potion when I feel I need to use a potion can't stop me uh, so we know we live one more nightshade and now we're at 7 HP magnitude 4 that does nothing oh my gosh that does absolutely nothing so we need to heal again using another potion back up to full health uh, uses nightshade And back down to 30. It would probably use another Nightshade. No, it uses Mimic. So Haunter picks up Magnitude as we get another low roll on the Magnitude meter. Uh, four. So good to know here. Magnitude six. And at this point, do we lose Basilisk? Okay. Oh my gosh, we almost lost Basilisk Magnitude 7. Goodbye, Haunter. You can never use that magnitude against us. But now we got to switch. We cannot use Basilisk against the Gengar at first. Now we got to switch. And he's paralyzed. So now we got to find a Pokemon that can take a couple of hits from a Gengar. And uh, so we can go ahead and heal up and cure the para our paralysis for Basilisk and I think the only one that can do it is going to be Hedwig here uh, yeah so let's go ahead and switch in Hed Hedwig um, Gengar uses Shadow Ball and it does nothing because we're a normal type Pokemon so we use a super potion to heal up Basilisk Gengar puts us to sleep okay I mean, we're fine. We're asleep, but we're okay. He can't hit us, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and do a uh, paralysis or paralyze heal. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, at this point, I'm really realizing that I had a paralysis heal instead of poison cure berry on. So let's go ahead and use a Paralyzed heal on Basilisk. He's cured of the paralysis. Dream Eater! 
No, 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 no. We switch in the basilisk. Puts us to sleep. Now it's going to use Dream Eater. Oh, no. Oh, we just lost her first Pokemon halfway in. Are you kidding me? Now we're out for blood. It, it's it knows this again. Are you kidding me here? How come when we clicked hypnosis with ha or with Ghastly, it didn't hit half the time, but he hits it twice. Luckily, we have the awakenings, and it misses. Finally, magnitude eight. Does this kill the Gengar? Magnitude eight. Does not kill. Hypnosis. Thank you. It misses again. Magnitude 7. Doesn't matter. Down goes Gengar. Morty, we pick up our fourth gym badge. Unfortunately, we lose Hedwig. Um, Basilisk grows to level 23. So we lose our Route 30 encounter, Hedwig. And, uh, yeah. That one hurts. So we get the fog badge from Morty. Um, yeah, that was definitely not meant to happen. Uh, I mean, we do have other flying type Pokemon, uh, like the Zubat, but I wanted to use another Pidgeot. Not going to be able to use it. Um, we get Shadow Ball. Uh, so I think that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Um, Again, tomorrow we will have Jim Lear Castle against Morty. Until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace.